Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Troy Pro. I want to share with you how you can make use of your old Android phone or mobile phone into a dash cam. Because uh, my car doesn't have a dash cam and I was planning to buy one, but then I thought of making use of my old mobile phone into a dash cam. So I did a quick research and you know what? It can be done. There are actually cool advantages of using an old Android phone as a dash cam. It could be an old Android phone or an extra Android phone that you're not using. Of course, that will have a mobile data. It's either 4G or 3G. This will enable you to share the internet with the people in your car. Most dash cam doesn't have these features. However, if you are looking for features in a dash cam like this, it comes with a price. Next up is your camera quality. Low budget dash cams doesn't come with a high quality recording. So having your phone as a dash cam you can record higher quality videos. Cloud backup. Of course, if you have that mobile data with your phone, you can activate an automatic backup with those videos that has been recorded with your phone and you will have a copy on the cloud. And of course, your GPS. It is much better if you download an offline GPS or maps on your phone so you can use that one to navigate. If you're looking for these features on a dash cam, of course, they will have, but it comes with a price. Actually, there are only a few things we are going to use, so let's get started. Now, this is an old Android phone I have here, and um, I use this one in one of my tutorials, making use of your old Android phone as a IP CCTV camera. You can check that one on the link up here. It should be popping right there. And, of course, um, USB extension cable so that it, you can wire it into your car. And, of course, the USB cable that comes with the phone so that you can power this one up. Even though this has a battery, that's one of the advantage of using this phone because even if you're car goes off or accidentally goes off it's still recording unlike the dash cam or i don't know if they have a backup battery running there then that's one of the advantages of using this one so to to keep this one charged up you, you need to plug it to your car so that it's going to charge up another one you need to have is actually a car charger that will power up your phone and if you're going to buy a car charger make sure that you can have multiple ports out there so that you can plug multiple devices like maybe you want to charge up your phone the other phone and the mobile phone is being powered up so it's much better if you have multiple ports out here another one you need to have is a phone mount that you can use to mount the phone into your car you need to get your phone and then make sure you have downloaded auto boy you actually go to play store search for auto boy and you can see we have it here the other one has a paid version but the free version is good enough for you to use so you can click that one and install this one so for me it's already installed and I'm going to open this one uh, it is actually recording right now all right so let's go ahead and install this one and let's try to see how it it really uh, record so I'll make use of this one I need to mount it first we're going to put it here like that mount that one like that we need to put our phone this is our phone put it like this like that Tighten that one up like that and we can actually open that auto boy right away so and we're going to plug in our charger like this probably you can put it around here like that make sure that our cable is going to go if you want to adjust that one you can move this one around so that you can see and just make this one ready out there you need to find a way to hide these cables here you can grab this cover here, pull it out, and tuck in this cable so that it will not be like a mess. I will continue and fix this one later, so I'll just leave it like that first so that we can grab our charger, plug this cable, and then plug it into the car so that the phone will have a power. There you go. We're going to go and have a test drive, okay? Let's go and try this one. Let's go. Okay. I have blurred some of the footage here because we are meeting cars that the plate number can be seen and there are actually people walking around so we don't want those footage to be in our video. You cannot see the footage being recorded by the phone so I actually downloaded from the phone and then put it here on the lower right corner so that you can see. At the same time, I have also taken a night footage so that we can see that one clearly so here you go that's how it looks like that's the phone and it's working very very good there you have it guys that's how you can make your phone as a dash cam 
now if it's your first time in my youtube channel and you like simple tech videos that may buy, that might be helpful in the future just consider subscribing and if you like this video just smash that like button share this to your friends and i hope i'm going to see you in my next video once again this is Torogi pro and goodbye